is uh, Peter Clover Olore. I am from uh, Uganda and uh, I work for Kosovi in uh, South Sudan, in Juba. And uh, I am working as a country coordinator. South Sudan uh, is a new country and uh, being new, it's experiencing many challenges. And uh, from December last year, war broke out in South Sudan which affected many people and caused a lot of displacement. And this displacement affected our areas where we work in Ayod County. Many people went in there who were displaced. And the, the war continued until April this year on the 27th, 28th. Fighting took place in Ayod and all our compound was destroyed. The health facility was vandalized and we lost many equipments and the community in a yard ran away and left the place and most of them went to the northern part of a yard county where they went to seek refuge and a safe place to stay so when the the war took place in a yard town we evacuated our staffs to juba temporarily and the, when the community settled in northern jungle in northern part of Ayod County, we went back to continue to offer services among them. And among these services, we are doing health programs, we are offering nutrition, and we are also supporting education services so that the community try to recover from the trauma and problems. The nutrition situation in Ayod County is a bit serious. And the According to assessment which we COSVI did together with UN OCHA, we found in Jej alone where around 25,000 people were displaced. There are around 17% of the children who were severely malnourished, which is contrary to the 2% limit which the WHO recommends. So the situation was so severe and we were planning and a, rap a rapid response to that area to try to provide basic nutrition services. And uh, most of the community have nothing that they eat or feed on. And uh, the community are actually trying to look for wild fruits so that they eat. And uh, just getting some other basic food from the wilderness and then they eat. And some of them now go hunting for wild animals. Another important sector actually which we participate in is the education sector. And in education we support schools and also we support the county education office which is the authority that supervises education services within the county. We work together with some few partners but COSVI has a big responsibility to take because we are coordinating the delivery of the emergency education in emergency supplies, which we get some from UNICEF, and we also try to get our own supplies through some of the contributions which you make. And it has so much helped some children to restart school. After the war, most of the education supplies were burned down and including the county education office was also destroyed. So the whole education department relocated to Jech and most of the children ran with their parents. It was until in May when we delivered, we started delivering education in emergency supplies. And then the schools actually reopened. Yet since January, when the war started up to May, there was no school that was functioning. They had no supplies. The teachers were not supported and they all got scattered. But when they received these supplies, the county education office got even motivated and the teachers got motivated and they started calling children to come back to school. And right now, there are a total of nine schools which have been opened in the whole county and they expect us to help them to deliver more supplies. 
and it have registered so far around 3,500 children. And with these supplies, we only managed yet to reach around 147. So we still have a gap of almost 3,353, which we are yet to meet their needs. So it is so happened that uh, the humanitarian, the, in this current humanitarian funding in South Sudan, education was not a priority and it was removed from the funding list. This has actually put more toll into education services where we do not know which direction the situation may take. Yet education is quite important to support uh, the re recovery of the children and also provide some psychosocial support to both youth who may actually, if left unattended to, can end up also picking arms and be joining the fighting which is going on. So we still believe as cause with that with education we can uh, get the children together and they begin making useful life out of them by attending school and growing into a direction which will help their future.